So, this is Dang and Rampa. Trigger Happy Havoc. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you will clearly see that this is something very different than what I normally do. For starters, it's a actual video game I'm playing, and not a TV show I'm reacting to. So yeah, so I'm going into this blind. So I guess it's still technically a reaction, so it's not really that different, but still. Anyway, the reason I decided to do this was I've been kind of wanting to do games on my channel for a while. And I kind of done some, but not really like any actual like big recorded blind playthroughs. So that's what I'm doing. Um, of course, when I first started many months ago, I failed miserably trying to set this up. And now here we are. I got it working. Unless you're not seeing this, in which case I'm probably punching my fist in the wall. But it doesn't matter because if you're watching this, then I'm not, and I'm fine. Um, so yeah, so first things first is that I'm not sure if it's just me, but the volume is really loud in my ears, and that's pretty loud too, right? Good, okay. Yeah, so that might be a bit low. I don't know, it's, it's really loud in my ears. I'm not sure if that's just the way the thing is meant to be. Um, but yeah. Um, so we are going to start, and yeah, also, like I said before, this is blind, so no spoilers, please. That will be very upsetting. And yeah. Oh. Well, let's see, if I put on Japanese, I won't understand the fucking thing they're saying. So I'm going to do English, um, because I actually understand half of English words. Yes, and I said half, because I'm very bad at speaking, so this is going to be great. Oh god, it is. You know what, because I've never played this game before, we're going gentle. Because I know it kind of seems like the pussy option, but I've never played it before, and I don't want to fuck it up, like, at the first thing. Ooh. Um. Oh. That's a person. And... That's there. And starting. Oh! Blast off. Oh. Why did this look like a fucking, like, classroom and a fucking rocket ship is in it with a half and half bear? Why did the moon look so weird? The Saturn did too, but like, the moon had like a weird hand stick now, did you see that? That was really kind of creepy. Oh. Oh, he's gone. No, he's dead. Um, okay, well, this bear... ...clearly seems to be a problem. Um, already. You know, by sending someone up in space and killing them. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was still super loud in my ears. Hopefully he's not as loud. Oh, um... The massive high school towers over... All the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh, that is a big ass school. Hope Speed Academy. It brings in top students from every field in Mantle, a government funded school of privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, With hundreds of years of traditions, it sends the ice. I'm, I'm, I saw cream and I thought it said ice cream. Which is weird, because there's no ice anywhere, but whatever. <laughs> it sends the cream of the crop into the world force every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a perfect thing name. Well, I would hope so. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. I want to be the best? Sorry. Um, no ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you you are scout scouted by the school itself. I apologize for me gonna stumble almost every other word. 
Um, so be prepared for that. Um, and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Okay. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. <laughs> My name's Makoto Naegi. That just scared the shit out of me. I, I didn't realize he was going to be talking. I thought I was going to read it, and that scared the shit out of me. Okay, um, Makoto Naegi, hello. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. I mean, you don't like that average. Really. Average on the outside, average on the inside. Okay, well, I don't know much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Oh, well. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Um, no, I'm not either, so don't... <laughs> like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all be whatever most popular at that particular moment. Huh, okay. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Is he the best average person? Is that what he is? Anyway, I figured it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung-ho gung than other people. You're the best gung-hoer in the world. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary. But still, here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, is he talking? Oh, do I talk for him or does he talk for him? Oh, we'll figure that out. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow my whole. What? They may have said swallow me whole, but I read that swallow my whole, and I was about to laugh. Um, but it's no wonder I could feel this way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Um, name anonymous, uh, anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. Host Peaks only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. In such a popular topic, there are trends online dedicated to talking about the school attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads, and all I saw about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. Oh, really? I guess she's a high school girl who's also led a singer from a pop group all over the country. Oh, that's cool. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the clean up hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eye on him. Oh jeez, that flash. There's the ultimate fashionista. So she's like a model, I'm assuming. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Look at this, a gang? Oh, yeah, it actually is. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto, de facto? Leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Hmm. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, fanfic, fanfic creator, really? <laughs> Gambler, <laughs> swimming pro, programmer, clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was a country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop to think about. You see, there were a few students who I could, couldn't find any info on, no matter how good I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of whole wild talent. Or didn't you say you were like the ultimate average person? Is that talent? Being, I don't know, being average, maybe? But then, what about those other student, new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be average students just like me, without any talent or anything? So that kind of... That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent to see why. Mr. Makoto Naegi, um, oh. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Wow. 
so he got picked from the lottery. As a result, you will be selected and we invite you to join us at the Ultimate Lucky Student. So, he, pure luck, so he's the Ultimate Lucky Student. I mean, that's pretty lucky, depending on like how many other schools there are and how many like ordinary people there are. Like, and he got picked, that's pretty lucky. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. I may have skipped some stuff and because I accidentally clicked the X button, so my bad. Um, but then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't feel myself, I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of this gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there would be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while though, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up my determination and tried to act like I had done this a million times before, and I took my first steps towards the main hall. So is the white text like stuff he's saying and the blue like his like inner monologue and stuff? Is that what I'm getting at? That's why I'm assuming so far, so this is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. Dude, you're like fucking 50 minutes early. What the hell? Like, you could've slept in. Meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's a full 50 minutes left. Yeah, you could've like slept in. It makes sense nobody else would be here. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. Yeah, you did. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll just calm me down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with having me looking around, right? It'll help me kill some time if nothing else. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess getting early and exploring the school isn't too bad. Trying to play cool, I took my first step into Hope Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What happened? Whoa, dude. Oh, no. What the? Okay, well, you see, kids, this is why you don't do drugs. Because you end up, everything looks all loopy and shit, and one minute you're going into fucking school, and the next minute you wake up naked in a bush, handcuffed with pineapple. So, yeah, see, this is what drugs do to you. Don't do that. Don't do drugs. But the instant I took a step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of illusion melting away and mixed together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. In the next moment, everything went black. Oh my god, did he like pass out? That's where it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh jeez, that's a bit too far if you just like blacked out. Oh, well, welcome to Despair, actually. Okay, well, maybe you are here for Despair, actually. If it says Despair High School, um, do you want to say that, did I do anything? Or Okay, I didn't think I did anything. Yes. Okay, well, that was fast. Um, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Oh, he's in class. Mm -hmm. oh. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, wow. This looks like one of those fucking, like, pop-up books. Um, welcome to Hope Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic drill. Okay, so this is just me learning shit. Um, left stick to adjust your aim. Yep. Okay. Um, A button, or I guess X button, because I'm using PS4 controller. Um, and press so you'll investigate the object. The descriptional button are the L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Okay. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Sure thing. Okay, so, oh. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, I'm doing it. Okay, what is this? Okay. Oh, X. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window would be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, 
That's not what matters here. Most importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Um, I don't know. Um, clock? What time is it? It was 7.10. How long did you block out for? Oh, it's already 8. Okay. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? I guess so. Um, oh, I can't do that. Um, let's look at this. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool on my- oh, gross. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Are we trapped in school? An orientation guide? That would be ultimate despair being trapped in school, to be fair. Um, it's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this some kind of idea- someone's idea of a joke? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed on the main hall, and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean... This is the classroom inside Hope's Peak. I'm assuming so. But then, if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be some other students there now. Leave classroom by B? What's B? Is that O? Is that O or... Hold on, I saw one look Can I look at the camera? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in, I guess. They have to keep those weirdos just from wandering. I, guess, I mean, I guess that's true. Um, is there anything else I can look at? There's a TV. Is that like for like PA announcements or something? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Well, seeing as how they're fucking metal bars blocking the windows, I'm pretty sure you're trapped in school. So, is O B? Okay, so O is B. Um, leave the area? Yep. Oh wow, this is really purple. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main office. Oh. Wow, this room is really purple. Also, my text is coming out really slow. Left stick to move through the halls. Hold down B while moving to run. Okay. Oh, there's a map. Also, you can press Y, is that triangle I'm guessing? To bring up the map. Press the Y button again to close the map. How convenient. I mean, very. Okay. Um. So, B? Okay, so that's O. Oh. The Spare Hotel. Oh wow, that's nice. So, sorry about the little thing that happened. Um, kind of had a little technical fuck up. Um, so yeah, so The Spare Hotel is what it says. The Spare Hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Oh, that's not the main hall. Oh, I thought it was. Um, where the main hall? Oh. Cross those doors. By the guess. Right? I wonder where their red door leads. I'll start. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Okay, no, so it's not the red door. Okay, where the fuck am I though? How what's where's the main hall? That looks like it's like a music room or tech room maybe. Um Oh. Here is the fucking door that's open. Right. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh Oh, I need to click on the door to go in. <laughs> I thought I could just walk in. Can't do that. By the time I got into the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, wow. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? <laughs> Every time someone talks, this scares the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, boy. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Hmm. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. I mean, there seem to be a lot of people. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there 
taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel like kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoki Naegi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm... Things are just getting curious and curious. Okay, I don't know what kind of voices it gives them yet. Um, once I- so I'm probably just gonna mm -hmm. talk normally, kind of. Until- until I can figure out a voice to get them. So strange. I declare beyond the shadow of a depth, this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Don't scream out here, please. Um, just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, you are- your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware that the meeting started at 8 a.m. Really? Really? You're one of those people? Okay, I just got those. You'll be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you. You must accept your due punch. Really? Okay, well. This guy already pissed me off. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Yeah, see? I'm with this girl. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? There's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> maybe, but maybe good to at least find out who we all are before digging into a bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's introduce ourselves. Let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to do whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best for now to just focus on getting to know each other for now. We guess this is a good chance I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up at the host big academy thread online, so kind of being a stalker, but whatever. Um, I still don't know what kind of people they are. Actually, are time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the students, press A to talk. Okay. Each conversation is points over. I'll sort. Oh shit! Should I like write stuff down? Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna end it here. Um, yeah. <laughs> because I feel like this is a good stopping point. Um, so yeah, so next time we will meet our classmates and find out why we got drugged, how we got drugged, and why we woke up asleep in the classroom when we passed out in the hall. So yeah, that's it.